Hey Kiwi Co viewers, this is Lucas and he's demonstrating today's Kiwi Crate playing with hydraulics. So Lucas built this hydraulic caterpillar that you see demonstrated right here. Lucas, tell us a little bit about what this thing is. It's like something that when you use a button, it can make something control. Yeah, so what did you learn about hydraulics today? What the heck is a hydraulic system? Do you know? Not really. Well, what do you have? You have two syringes. Syringes are those little needle thingies, right? But don't worry, there's no sharp parts in this kit. It's just with tube. And what do you have inside those syringes that's making that water. caterpillar move? Water. water. So the hydraulic... Water, water makes some, enough water to make something Right, so by pushing the water through the syringe to the other syringe, you are causing motion by sucking and pushing. So this is a hydraulic system, and you make a water-powered worm that wiggles across this track. And what's the hardest part? What do you think the hardest part of this uh, kit was? Probably getting the right amount of water inside the inside the syringes so that this uh, caterpillar works, right? There's also another part here called the mystery color machine. Color in a picture using water power. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think you did that part yet, did you? So in this crate, you basically have to start with the syringes and you have to fill them about halfway full and you have to basically adjust the amount in the syringes, letting out enough air and enough water so that through a little bit of trial and error, you can get the perfect amount of water in syringe A and B to allow your caterpillar to move. So if you get it in a perfect balance, you can see Lucas pulling the water back and forward, back and forward, and that basically makes the syringe expand and contract, allowing his little caterpillar to move across the track, okay? And that's where we have the water-powered worm. Water-powered worm, basically make, make a little pipe cleaner worm, and then using, you can put the, the syringe in the bracket if you want to, but Lucas just likes to kind of freehand this. Um, the syringe holder allows you to uh, inch this caterpillar through. Is this a syringe holder? Oh, I guess the, the caterpillar is the syringe holder, right? Uh, allows you to inch what? the caterpillar through the track. Where? Well, no, I, I'm sorry. The, the, the caterpillar itself is the syringe holder because there has to be a syringe on the caterpillar that allows it to move. And you're right. You can just freehand the other syringe to allow it to wiggle and jiggle, right? Um, real worms actually use hydraulics to move like this, too. They pump fluid through their body. Isn't it crazy? It's kind of gross, huh? Now, the second part of this is the mystery color machine. And you can place the clear pictures on top, flip the frame over, and you can use the tape and the syringe... matching up orange rectangles. So this is another syringe project that Lucas didn't do. But here, slowly push the plunger to watch the picture rise up and fill with color. Pull it again to watch the color mysteriously disappear. So another hydraulic system uh, using probably a polarized filter to cause the colors to appear and disappear. Should we try putting that together? Let's put that together and uh, demonstrate that too as part of this video. Okay, the first part is to color the paper pictures and there's a magic color here that the white will actually erase the colors that you color. So we'll have Lucas work on coloring these. All right, Luke, why don't you color these? I have to color. Yeah, and actually the white marker will make it disappear. Really? Let's try it. Wow. Eraser marker. Here, you can 
color that one too. My first air, what the heck? It doesn't erase really. Huh. So, yeah. Here, I'll color one too. I'm gonna color this one. So we can color it green. Yeah. Color this green. Then we can use the white marker to make some of this green marker disappear. Okay. This white marker, we can give this some stripes. Look at that magic eraser marker. Look at that. Some dots. There we go. Then we can give this one a little bit of orange here. Give this one a little bit of orange too. These markers are a little weird, right? They don't color. Exactly, kind of as you think it will. How's your fish coming? <laughs> I'm pretty good too. All right, so I've colored this one. Luke is still coloring his. So we're gonna take the matching clear picture, place the matching clear picture on top of your colored picture, which we're doing here. And we're going to fold this down, poke a, poke a brad into each of the small holes, and flatten it. So we have a couple of these over here. Okay, so we're going to poke one of these brads through here. We need these little washers on them, but put them on anyway. Okay, so another brad on this one. So flip the frame white side up, and we're going to use this thing here. How'd you get the brad? I didn't have any brown. Oh, it's the dog. White side up, slide the flap between the clear and the colored pictures. Okay, between the clear and the colored pictures. I'm going to put that on top here. And then fold it down over the blue line. Okay. Then we have to fold this up like so and like that and then use the sticky foam to fold down the flap. Yes. OK. 
Okay, and then we have. Is there two? Stick the double sticky foam. Hmm, where's the double sticky foam? Did you lose this double sticky foam? Hmm, we've lost the double sticky foam, but that's okay. That's where the syringe goes. And then we have another syringe holder that I think we lost in this kit. Okay, so now we have this stand. That we fold up and fold in, fold down. Oh, this part this folds down. Then we have another brad here. Yeah, I think you have to, there's only one, so we'll have to switch it out for yours. Now why don't you peel these blue circular foams and stick it on those blue dots. Blue circular? Yep. This is sticky. Can you, can you uh, fold that out? Oh. Here's another sticky blue one. Okay, so here's the holder that's going to be on the back of this here. Is supposed to be the eyeballs? No, that's, that's how it's, it's supposed to hold the syringe and then the syringe is going to push this up and down. Let's get this set up a little bit more. Okay, all that work isn't going to work because we don't have the uh, sticky part for the syringe. But Lucas is going to demonstrate and pretend as if we had a syringe attached to this. Basically, you would lift this up and it would change colors. But you have to sandwich it like this. You have to get this flap over there. Lift this up. Oh. And you put that just in the clear part there. Just the clear part in there. There you go. So it's an optical illusion, right? So as the Wait, syringe pushes this up. Nope. Nope, you just put that. There you go. You just put that in there. So as the syringe lifts this up, so this is another syringe holder. Don't lose to the sticky foam, otherwise you can't do this. But here, lift it up slowly and push it down again. Yep, push it in. There you go. So if you push it in, it looks like the color disappears, right? But you pull it up, your colored image appears on the other side. Wait, that makes sense. Because then you have the back, and then it just pops up. Yeah, it just pops up. So tell us how it works, Lucas. So you see clearness. Yep. 
and you can just hide the other part. All right, show it to us. Turn it around, show it to us. So when you pull it, the back pops up, and then you, and then when you push down, it goes in, the one it goes back here, and you can't see it. Ooh, you told the secret, All right? So there's a clear front, right? with the same stencil and you can only see the white part of that but when the hydraulic system if we had the syringe hooked up push this up what would can happen you just like like this like just like yeah you'd have to pull it all apart no that's no, not gonna work like that how, how, what? so what that's a syringe holder you're supposed to use the same tubing system and have the syringe loaded up in here right and then it would push that part oh. up. Just like the caterpillar. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work very well. Okay, well, that's the second part of this kit. So that allows you to build the mystery color machine, but you'll have to sacrifice your um, caterpillar in order to make this happen. Anyways, this is the Playing with Hydraulics uh, kit. Uh, this is a Tinker Line series. Lucas, what was the most fun about this kit? Mm. Kind of making that that worm that moved. Yeah. How about the hardest part? Probably the hydraulics system itself. It was a hard challenge to get the water and the plumbing and the piping worked out all right, uh, including keeping track of where the double-sided sticky foam ended up, right? But in the end, we still have our hydraulic caterpillar that Lucas is going to play around with here as we finish up our playing with hydraulics kit. That comes with two things. This is what happens when you have no water. That's what happens when you have no water, he said, huh? You don't have to whisper. Okay, and uh, that demonstrates the moving caterpillar, the mystery color machine here that we can demonstrate. There you go. Ooh, mystery color machine half transforming right there. See it in motion. There you go. Okay, well, check out all our Tinker uh, kits, uh, or sorry, KiwiCo. This is a Kiwi crate, uh, all our Kiwi crates. And check out all of Lucas's other demonstrations and reviews. He'll come out with another one as we have a huge pile of these that he has to work through this summer. So thanks for watching his Playing With Hydraulics kit check out our link uh, below to subscribe to your own kiwi crates and we'll see you next time on the chan clan uh, the chan clan's kiwi co playlist subscribe